I'm Sherry, and welcome to my Ginger Chick uh, channel. I am going to do a product test today, and basically these are Burpee Super Seed Seed Starter Trays, and I've only used the 72 cells before by, um, I think that was Jiffy Pop was the brand we used, and when the cells germinated, they worked great up until the end, and then when you go to pop them out to put them in the ground, um, they have broken in the past. And so, I wanted something a little bit more industrial that'll last. And these, these, um, they're made out of silicone, I believe. I'm gonna take this cover off and show you. But um, Burpee is not paying me to do this video. This is just me at home product testing these. And I thought this would be a fun time to test it out. Okay, if I can get this off. So here's what it looks like. <clears throat> and this is the watering tray that goes underneath. It comes with, oh, a little thank you card. But it comes with, see how it says A1, A, or 2A, 1B, 2B. So it's numbered. Here's what they send you. And then the tray is numbered A, B, I don't know if you can see that, C, D, and then above it, let's see if I can show you. Oh, it just says one, two right here. So one, two, okay. Um, I'll show you on the others too. So Burpee also makes a 36 cell and all of those are also labeled in kind of that grid format of um, A, B, C, one, two, three. And then they also make a 16 cell uh, super seed tray. Now again, the benefit of this <clears throat> is these trays pop out really super easy, boom, and they don't crack and break. They're silicone, or at least they feel like silicone, and super easy to wash out. Now, I think the 72 cell would be super easy to wash out as long as they didn't crack and break. So, again, this is just me testing this product, and today I'm going to be testing it with the Globe Artichoke from M.I. Gardener. I wish this wouldn't white out, but... So the Globe Artichoke from M.I. Gardener is the seed test I'm going to be doing today. And um, so I am in zone 6B. And these actually are made for zones 7 through 10. So it would, for me, have to go into a pot because these take a really long time to get started. They take 8 to 12 weeks from the last frost date, which means I've got to start these now, okay? <clears throat> so they're gonna take 14 to 21 days to germinate. Um, that's quite a long time. And they will take 120 days to mature. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these started in here. And then I'm gonna put these in a sunny place inside my home, uh, probably a sunny window, so it'll be you know, during the day, 70 to 75 in the window. It is not going to be 75 in my house, but it'll be inside the window, probably a little warmer when the sun is hitting it. Okay, so I'm going to get started. And I already have some pre-moistened dirt. <clears throat> that is a potting mix. And I've actually added in some topsoil to kind of... Um, add a little bit more to it because these are huge cells. Um, so I'm just gonna do, ooh, dust that right on in there. There we go. Get them down in there. Them all, can you see this? Okay. And just a couple more. So they're pretty moistened so it's kind of easy for me to manipulate the dirt a little bit. It's, it's like clumping, it's sticking, and 
It's not making like dusty messes, although it is making kind of a wet clumpy mess. All right. Now then, there is, you know, let me make sure there's no air pockets. So kind of crunching it down a little bit. So we don't have any air pockets that cause us any problems. Now I can kind of dust a little bit more into these trays. These cells are huge. Now I will tell you that the artichoke will get to be a big plant. Um, and so I'm anticipating, I've never grown artichoke before. So I'm anticipating that this artichoke will come up like a big sprout. I think the seeds are also kind of big. So we're gonna pop this open here in just a moment and take a look. So <clears throat> I have like my daughter's chopstick to create a seed hole for my seeds to go into. So I'm gonna use the larger end of the chopstick. It's about the size of a pencil and you could use a pencil if you wanted to, but just to create a little hole and I'll show you this a little close up. All right. So I don't know if you can kind of see a little hole right there. Okay, kind of hard to tell. So I'm gonna open MI Gardener's Heirloom Seed. This is the Green Globe Artichoke. Open my seed packet. My fingers are a little, little damp with the dirt. Oh yeah, so these are a pretty good size seeds. Not, not terribly large. But, um, like a little bit larger than a grain of rice. All right, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna drop one into the little hole that I've made. And these are probably about a fourth of an inch down into these rather large seed cell tray, into the rather large seed cells. So get these guys started. I got one more. There we go. I'm gonna set the others aside and I will tuck them away here in a little bit. But yeah, all I gotta do is just kind of seal over the top. Just kind of pinch over the dirt a little bit. And these are good to go. Super excited about getting some artichoke going. Hoping to have some artichoke dip by September, October, somewhere in there. I think that'd be kind of cool. So these will <clears throat> grow up into this gorgeous plant. Um, they get pretty good size, like 36 inches tall. And um, they have kind of a green grayish color uh, plant, you know, the green part. But then when it opens up, if you don't harvest them to eat, they actually turn into a really pretty flower. So bees and stuff would love that. Um, but I intend to eat these. I would like to try them. So super excited about my seed tray. I'm going to pour just a little bit. I know this doesn't look like there's a whole lot of water in this, but I'm just going to pour a little bit of water just to kind of seal the deal. And that little bit of water will flow through this top tray into the bottom tray. And it has channels so that the water is not just sitting on the seed. There we go. Perfect amount of water for each one. <clears throat> and so now I'm just going to set this in a sunny window and make sure it doesn't dry out. I'm going to keep my eye on it. So should be good to go. I'll keep you updated. Thank you and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel.